Howdy guys, I'm back with more of The Witcher. Last time, the Witchers of Kaer Morin were defeated by the bandits, and, you know, they lost a lot of people, lost a lot of important stuff, and, um, basically there's not really a whole lot of reason for us to stick around at Kaer Morin, so once I'm done uh, making this potion for Triss, I guess we're out of here. Alright, skinning monsters. To extract alchemical components, left click on the monster carcass. Tip, read books to gain information about monsters and alchemical ingredients. You must know about ingredients before you can collect them. Eh, I guess that makes sense because otherwise, um, what's stopping you from carving everything off of a monster? You know, eyes, liver, legs, heart, and just say, oh, you know, I might need it for a potion someday, right? You gotta know what's usable. Alright, so just click on this. Oh, okay, so it's just like, uh, looting. Alright, Frightener's Claw and a Frightener's Eye. So I'm guessing if I didn't know about these, they wouldn't even show up on the remains because that's what the tip just told me. Alright, quest updated. A potion for Triss. I should find Vesemir, meditate, and something something. Alright, that wasn't all that complicated. For some reason I thought it would be more of an ordeal to loot from that guy than it actually was. I, I really like how it's easing me into the game. It's not throwing too much at me all at once. It's, you know, giving me only so much freedom at a time. Like, you know, they're like, okay, you can handle the upstairs. Now let's see if you can handle going outside without getting lost. Alright, what now, Papa Vesemir? Yes? I got all the ingredients, Papa. Alright, uh, actually, where are Lambert and Eskel? Where are Lambert and Eskel? Upstairs. Lambert's in the library, and Eskel's taking Triss to her room. Oh, okay. Well, I don't know why he's taking her to her room when I, you know, just got back to give her the potion. I guess so you can make this all extra complicated on me so I can be running all over the place like I've got nothing better to do. All right, well, I have all the ingredients. I have all the ingredients. Good. Now rest and prepare the potion according to the formula. What? Oh boy, this is this sounds really complicated. Can I do I need to look at the formula again or am I like can I mess the potion up? Can I accidentally like turn Triss into a man or make her hair turn green? I I just don't want to make things worse. All right. Um I guess I do this. I'll rest a bit and prepare. All right, uh, are we really sure I should be doing this? I, I, I'm a novice. I mean, she's, she's gonna be breathing fire if I do this. Come on. All right, left click on the vial to create potions. All right, uh, vial, vial. Oh, oh, over here, derp. Okay, I'm an idiot. This vial. All right, left click to. Okay, yeah, I guess that's what it is. Left click to prepare potions, oils, and bombs. Alright, select the formula to add ingredients to the vial automatically. Then left click on mix at the bottom right side of the screen. A left click on the hourglass to brew the potion while meditating. Oh, this sounds really complicated. Alright, uh, formula potion for Triss. Oh, okay, that's not so bad after all. Alright, so just... Alright, okay, that's actually not too bad. And I guess, um... I don't know, I guess you can't just add things willy-nilly, You have to. it has to be part of a formula. Okay, this is pretty hard to screw up, actually. Alright, so I just... Oh! Alright, I should take the potion to Triss's room on the upper floor, alright? And I guess I just click on that, and... Alright, and I made it. Oh, okay, that's not too bad. That wasn't bad at all. I thought it was going to be way more complicated than that. Okay, well, I can't, uh can't complain about that one bit. That was downright easy, even. Alright, what now, Papa Vesemir? Yes? Uh, oh, uh, okay, I guess I just... We'll speak later. I, uh, oh, okay. Oh, okay, I should take the potion to... Tr oh, okay, I guess, I guess I can do that with, uh, 
without needing a chaperone or without having to ask permission. Let me see. All right, so no, that way. Okay, okay. I've been here before. I should remember where everything is, but alas, I could get lost going in a straight line. You guys know this by now. All right, wow. I get to go up here all by myself. I wasn't even prompted to go up here. I'm just supposed to do it on my own after brewing the potion. Man, I'm, I'm, I'm I mean, this is getting pretty wacky. They're really giving me a lot of, uh, a lot of, like, uh, self-autonomy here. This, uh, this might be a bad thing. All right, stairs to Triss's room. Right there. Can't miss it. Gosh, they sure did drag Triss a long ways. I'm sure they enjoyed t uh, taking the unconscious, beautiful lady up all these stairs. I'm sure they just enjoyed that to pieces. Alright, Triss, if this potion makes you sprout an extra eye, I'm really sorry, my bad. Uh, uh, oh. Alright, uh, double click on the healing potion to give it to Triss. Tip, win favors of other characters by giving them gifts. Oh, really? Okay, so there's maybe some kind of like, um, reputation or like friendship system or something. Alright, so I have something for you. <laughs> I have something for you right here, giggity 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 giggity. Alright, uh, gift panel, um... Uh, Frightener's eye. Here you go. You want to put? You want this eye? All right. Do I just? Um, oh, do I? Oh, okay. I just. Do I just? Do I do that or do I? Oh, okay. I see. Thank you, Geralt. I hope this potion helps. That was terrible. I dreamt Lambert was with me. He was staring at me, saying things like, "Don't go dying on me, Marigold," calling me big-headed. I'm so glad to see you. What? I'm glad you're feeling better. I know we should set out, but I have a feeling we won't be back. Perhaps ever. Won't you stay just a bit longer? With me? What? Whoa, 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 Hold on, hold on. I don't, I don't even know you all that well. I, I mean, I, I don't, I don't want to be causing any drama. There's a lot of other handsome men here. Why me? Uh, I suppose we have some time. We have no time to lose, Trist. The sooner we set off, the better. Uh, is, does it, is this, they wouldn't re, no, they wouldn't give you, they, they wouldn't do that right at the beginning of a game, would they? I suppose we have some time. No, I, I'm, I'm sure this is just going to be a friendly chat. I suppose we have some time. I suppose we have some time. I'm so happy you're back. When I saw you, all the feelings I tried to deny returned, stronger than ever. Triss. I'm not ready to talk about the past. Of course. I, I shouldn't pressure you. I just feel so... <laughs> the powers. I'm behaving like a teenager. <sighs> Let's focus on the present. I guess I disappointed you all. Forgive me. Uh, let's see, it's not your fault. You helped us. Everyone makes mistakes. Let's get back. Well, I mean, really, it's not your fault. It really isn't. She she was doing what she she thought she could handle. She, I, I really feel like no one was really trying to half-ass it. Everyone was really trying. It wasn't a mistake. Don't feel bad. You helped. Nothing to forgive. What I felt when I learned you were alive, hard to compare to anything. Oh... Except maybe what I feel as I look at you. I missed you so. Let's see if the best bed in Kaer Morin can hold us. Huh? Whoa, 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 Oh. Oh, hot dog, really? Oh my gosh. I've barely started the game and I'm already getting naked girls throwing themselves at- Whoa, hi. Yay. You're- the, the- the- there's a card in the way. Ah, <sighs> Geralt. A pleasure, as always. As always? You don't remember anything? Unfortunately. Well, you have something to look forward to, then. No matter. Tell me, how did the battle end? They broke into the lab, killed Leo, stole our mutagens, and escaped. Poor Vesemir. Another protege dead prematurely. We delayed the funeral until you awoke. Thank you. As for the mutagens, 
Their loss could prove catastrophic. Let's not lose any more time. Unless there's something you'd like to ask me? Whoa, 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 and, um, she didn't even know about poor Leo. Like, do we got our priorities a little backwards or what? Like, I mean, it seems like you'd kind of want to, you know, break the news about, you know, everything that happened before you start, uh, you know, having, having, you know, some fun, you know, blowing off some steam. Well, gosh, I can't, you know, I, I'm, I don't know how I feel about that. I wasn't actually expecting anything like that right at the beginning of the game well maybe maybe there's more hey hey maybe that's maybe that's just oh that's what it is it's a teaser for more to come oh boy am I gonna get to just seduce ladies what a game what a game all right uh, let's 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 talk all right we shouldn't keep Vesemir waiting oh yes we should we we just took up we we got a chat I don't know anything about her um Know anything more about the sorcerer who ransacked the lab? Can you restore my memory? Yeah, really. The theft. What are its possible consequences? I need to do something. <laughs> well, uh, I guess that's if I wanted to do any last looking around here. I'm guessing this will advance the story. Alright, so I'm curious about the theft. What are its possible consequences? The theft. What are its possible consequences? Most sorcerers and rulers would sell their greedy, power-hungry souls to get the mutagens. Wow. Only a master of the arcane arts can use that knowledge. Not many of those left. What about wealthy merchants, dukes, kings? Perhaps. Anything's possible. But speculating wastes time. We just don't have enough information. True. Geralt, can we go? So I'm guessing, uh, I don't know, but I'm thinking this theft has got, um, way worse implications than, like, anyone's letting on. Like, it's only going to be a matter of time till, you know, people are, you know, use, you know, people with money are getting their hands on some pretty dangerous power. Hmm. You know, because I'm just trying to think. So I, what I do know about The Witcher, all I know is there's three games. So, what could possibly happen that could, you know, lead off into more games? I'm just trying to figure out what the big picture here could be. Alright, well, um, do you know anything more about the sorcerer who ransacked the lab? Know anything more about the sorcerer who ransacked the lab? <laughs> He's very powerful. He completely controlled the energy he drew from the circle. We may soon be facing another Vilgefortz. Who? No matter. I have something I'd like to teach you. Oh, but, huh? Wait, 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 I should... Uh... I wasn't... Uh, alright, well, I wasn't done talking to her. That seemed really strange. I wanted to... I wanted to ask her to restore my memory. I was saving the most important one for last. Alright, uh, defending Care Morin. Triss had a lot to say. Leo's funeral will be soon. I should talk to Triss again or to Vesemir. Alright, so I guess did I lose the chance to get that bit of dialogue? Well gosh, you know, um I was gonna say, you know what one thing I've been liking about this game so far, as opposed to like uh Bioware games, is when I actually click on a dialogue option, Geralt says that uh, that dialogue word for word and that's wonderful I love that because the thing with like some of the Bioware games when you click on the dialogue it's like you know it might say something along the lines of I think that's a swell idea or something you're like okay I'll click on that and then your character says something completely horrible and it's like I didn't know it was gonna come out like that no so I am liking that part of the dialogue but I don't like that the dialogue just ended before I was ready to uh, end it, so I guess I've got to make sure every uh, every bit of dialogue counts, but I don't know, maybe I can talk to her again? Geralt, can we go? Um, yeah, here we go. That Can you restore my memory? Okay, I, I was getting upset over nothing. Can you restore my memory? 
I'd have to examine you. There's a good chance your memory will return on its own. How much chance? That's difficult to say. It might help if I knew what caused you to lose your memory. Well, no time for that now. Geralt, can we go? Okay, so I guess it's, uh, it's coming. Alright, well then, hold on, I need, uh, I need to do something. I'll come back and get you. I need you. to do something. I'll come back and get you when I'm ready. Alright, so hold on here. Just still learning some stuff here. Alright, so... Alright, let me go ahead and get caught up on a few things here in my journal before I move on to uh, the next whatever is going to happen. Alright, so uh, let's start with this Berengar. I talked about him a little bit last time. Can't quite see his face. Vesemir mentioned a witcher who had left Kaer Morin before my arrival. His name is Berengar. That's all I know. The mysterious mage with the interesting piercings. The mage attacked Kaer Morin in order to steal the witcher's secrets hidden in the fortress. One of the leaders of the forces that attacked Kaer Morin was a mage so powerful that even Triss Marigold could not oppose him. The organization that he leads uses a or uses the symbol of a salamander. Oh boy, I guess I'm going to definitely be running into this guy later. All right, and dear Leo, dear, dear Leo, I almost feel like I caused his death because I predicted it. Like, when when they told me that he was coming with me, I was like, oh, hello, expendable. All right, Leo is, or shall I say was, the youngest of Kaer Morin's residents. He wasn't a full witcher, though he has completed his training. He was not subjected to mutation. He comes across, okay, so some of this is the same. Leo comes across as a hothead well, but is also kind-hearted and good. It appears that Leo was somewhat fascinated with me. He has heard the ballads about the white wolf and now holds me in high regard. So this part's different right here. So, um... Leo was killed by the professor, one of the leaders of the assault on Kaer Morin. The boy was too hasty and inexperienced. I wasn't able to help him, even though I was right beside him. That was definitely a bummer. Okay, so I guess in the future I'll know that um, maybe as characters I learn more about them that uh, it'll just add paragraphs so I don't need to read the whole thing again. Alright, oh, I never read about the laboratory and the locations. The famous Witcher Laboratory, laboratory, whatever, holds the most closely guarded secrets of the cast. Mutagenic plants, hallucinogenic mushrooms, natural stimulants, and potion ingredients. Gosh, sounds like we were running a drug op or something. It is uh, here that young apprentices were subjected to the incredibly painful trial of the grasses, really, which only a few survived, gaining superhuman abilities in return. Yeah, didn't he, uh, one of you guys told me it was like, what, 3 out of 10 or something? Those are pretty bad odds. Alright, nothing new there. Alright, uh, this was a new one. I thought I saw this cat one. Um, this potion grants vision and total darkness. Wow, I'll definitely be using that one. Um, Cat is said to have been the first potion created specifically for witchers. Oh, maybe that's what's going on with like Geralt's eyes or something. The con or I guess really all the witchers' eyes. The concoction allows witchers to pursue monsters into their lairs, including dark caves, ruins, and crypts, because it augments vision to pick up additional wavelengths of light. To prevent blinding, the imbibers' pupils automatically narrow when in bright light. This is possibly the potion most commonly used by witchers. Yet, I um. Don't know what the low light situation is gonna be like in this game, but like in uh, like uh, Elder Scrolls games, one of the first abilities I like to have is like a night eye type of ability. So I'm definitely going to be enjoying uh, that one. All right, here I never read about this one. I just made fun of the name Swallow. There is no bird more beautiful than the swallow. Of course, it's talking about the bird, the harbinger of spring. Even the dark mages who developed the formula for witcher's potions appreciated the charm of this bird, lending its name to the potion that accelerates regeneration of a mutated organism. 
All right, Thunderbolt, which is take this potion before fighting strong, heavily armored opponents. Imbibing Thunderbolt causes witchers to enter into a battle trance. While in this state, witchers attack more efficiently and cause greater damage, uh, but they also neglect their own defense. Yeah, I don't know about that one. And while White Gull is a mild hallucinogen, ah, that explains my romp with Triss, which provides pleasure during the long nights witchers spend at their fortresses waiting out the winter. The witchers make this potion using secret uh, saprophytes grown in the dungeons of Kaer Morin, but it can also be made from commonly available ingredients. Okay, so you can change it up some. Alright, well I don't think I'm going to read through every single one of these ingredients, but uh, alright, I think I'm a little bit more caught up here now. Um, I guess, I guess I'll just talk to her. Geralt, and, uh, can we go? Let's get this uh, funeral going. Let, we shouldn't keep Vesemir waiting. We shouldn't keep Vesemir waiting. Come on, then. All right. I guess after this we abandon Kaer Morin. We don't know where the bandits came from or who's behind them. We'll draw attention if we venture out as a group. By splitting up, we can also cover more territory. Oh, not this. I'll go west. I know a few people there, and I prefer the coastal Then climate. I'll head east, to Kedwin, unless someone objects. That's fine. Which way should I go? South, to Tamaria. King Foltest owes you a debt of gratitude. Some time ago, you removed a curse from his daughter. You might happen on the bandit's trail there. And you, Triss? I'll try to use my influence to find the bandits. If I learn anything, I'll contact Geralt. I'll gather what information I can and find you in Vizima. Triss. Don't, Geralt. I detest goodbyes. I'm liable to cry, and there's nothing more pathetic than a sorceress in tears. Fair enough. <laughs> don't get killed, Geralt. I don't think I could deal with that again. I'll see you soon. Oh, is is it serious between us? Aw, oh, man. Am I already tied down? See you, Triss. Well, she seems fine enough, I guess. Oh, the bandits succeeded in stealing secrets which the witchers have been guarding for centuries. Their leader, a Zerikanian mage, proved too powerful even, even for Triss Marigold. The witchers set out in search of the stolen secrets classically to the four corners of the world. Ooh. Geralt of Rivia went south to Vizim Vizima. I hate the, oh, we'll gather attention if we go together. It's like, no, you won't. No one's paying that much attention to you, man. Come on. Power in numbers. Well, I guess not. Look what happened at Care More, and maybe they're right. <laughs> All right, so the outskort, outskorts, yep. Outskirts of Vizima. I guess I just... Uh, Caroline, oh. I'm tired. It's not far now. We'll be there soon. I'm cold. We'll fetch you warm milk and honey. You'd like that. Very much. Thank you, Caroline. What are those dogs doing? Dogs? Alvin, do exactly as I'll say. This is important. Run to the inn as fast as you can, and don't look back. Understand? They're evil dogs. Run! Oh, man. Oh, yes, they are very evil dogs. They're glowing, man. Come on. If you see something glowing, don't even take, don't even look. Just go. Just run. 
What the hell? Shut the gate, quickly! No! What about the beast! The, the beast is attacking! Sound the alarm! The beast? Oh, that's cold. That's stone cold. She's right there. They didn't even try to help her. That's horrible. She was right there and they just shut the gates on her. Oh my gosh. Geralt, Melatelli must have sent you. There's a woman outside. The dogs will tear her apart. Help her. Oh, Help! No! Don't open the gate. The beasts will enter. These dogs are deadly. You people are monsters. Stand aside. I save her myself. Stop. Don't go out there alone. Damn you. We're all going to die. Oh my gosh, what am I being thrown into here? I'm not... I must kill the beast that attacked the woman and child. Oh my gosh, I'm not ready! I'm not ready! Oh my gosh, I guess I'm ready. Alright, um, do I do group style for all these doggos here? Alright, I'm not... Oh jeez, I, I was still in story mode. I wasn't ready for combat. Oh my gosh. What was that? I don't know. Magic, surely. The beast! Geralt, look! Whoa. The time, time of the sword and axe approaches! The time of the white frost and white light! The time of madness and disdain! To it the final age! The world will perish amidst ice and be reborn with the new sun! Reborn of elder blood, of hen care, of a planted seed! A seed that will not sprout but burst into flames! Oh, man. The old elven prophecy of Itlina. I hope he's all right. It seems he saved us from the beast. Yes, seems so. Oh, I do hope he's not hurt. I'll need to find someone to take care of him. He shouldn't be alone. We'll stay at the inn in the meantime. Wait a minute. I ran into wild dogs on my way here, but they were nothing like these, and I don't mean just the green fur. Know anything about them? They've been terrorizing the village for some time. Every few days, a villager is killed. The pack is led by a large hound, perhaps a wolf. People call it the beast. Someone might pay to have the beast slain. That's what witchers do, isn't it? But enough about monsters. What brings you here? I'm seeking men who wear the sign of the salamander. Seen anyone like that in the area? Shh, not so loud. There was someone, but the peasants grow silent at the mere mention of him. The Reverend might know more. You may also want to ask him about the beast. I'll do that. Did you want to ask me something? Oh, gosh. All right, okay, so a lot of stuff just got thrown at me again, so I guess, um, all right, so everyone, what was left of the witchers just scattered to the wind, um, we're, I guess, all doing our part to, f you know, figure out what happened with these, um, these bandits and our stuff. We're trying to figure out what happened to our stuff, I guess. Um, gosh, okay, so I'm in chapter one. I don't know how many chapters there are in this game. Um, you know, I just started, so I'm guessing there's quite a few. I'm, gu I'm guessing what happened at the very beginning of the game is like going to be the main overarching thing that's going on and based on what's happening here maybe every chapter I'm going to be going to a different village or dealing with a different situation and I either help or hurt some people and move a bit closer to my goal that I that was set up in the previous chapter I'm guessing that's kind of maybe what's going on all right well um hmm I just got thrown into a situation here. It's been a long time since I've heard mention of Salamandra. Do you know anything about them? It's been a long time since I've heard mention of Salamandra. Do you know anything about them? I think they're a group of bandits who terrify the locals. Yesterday, they returned a boy they'd whipped with a lamia. A lamia? A mayhem crop with small barbs and hooks. It rips away skin and flesh with each strike. Most civilized countries have banned them. The boy was delirious. Muttered something about a ransom and the reverend. Sadly, he grew feverish, and he died that night. Thanks. I may stay longer than I planned. Why the interest in Salamandra? 
Okay, well, they killed someone I was fond of, and stole something of mine, and I can't say. Well, I, I feel like I can trust her. I'm usually made a fool of, but I feel like I can trust her. I'm gonna let her know what's going on. I'm gonna let her... I mean, I'm still being pretty vague here, so... They killed someone I was fond of, and stole something of mine. I wouldn't want to be them. All right, um, do we know each other? So, uh, what brings you to this village? So, what'll become of Alvin? All right, what brings you to this village? What brings you to this village? I'm traveling to St. Libiota's Hospital in Vizima to help fight the Catriona Plague. When are you leaving? Once I've helped the victims of the dog attacks, I guess. I can't abandon them. It'll delay me, but some are certain to die without my aid. Oh, so she's like a really good person. Okay, she's out there trying to do a good thing. All right, so do we know each other? Let me bet my eyelashes at her. Do we know each other? It's me, Shawnee. Don't you recognize me? Whatever happened to you? I heard you died during a massacre in Rivia. Unfortunately, I lost my memory. I recall the last few weeks, nothing more. Hmm. I'm afraid I can't help. Medicine's a fledgling science here in the North. I can say that your memory might come back on its own. It's not that bad. I'm actually getting used to it. I hate to admit it, but sorcerers are somewhat more effective at this than we are. Maybe one of them could help. Yeah, maybe a fresh start's not so bad. It's uh, interesting having all these ladies love me and I have no... Um, well, not love, but they're awful nice to me and I have uh, no real way of you know, having any attachment to... Oh, I'm terrible. All right, so what'll become of Alvin? So what'll become of Alvin? I don't know. I'll look after him for now. Maybe a villager will take him in. He seems clever enough. Surely someone will want him. Did you want to ask me something? All right, uh, I guess we'll speak later. We'll speak later. Oh, boy. Okay. Uh, new journal, new characters... Oh, my, oh yeah, there goes little Alvin. <laughs> uh, went from being possessed, now he's just hunky-dory, walking off into the night, and... Well, this guy's not doing so well, is he? Eesh. Alright, I guess I can uh, help myself to all this. A bar guest skull, valuable ingredient skull of a bar guest. Some merchants will gladly pay for it. Oh man, I'm gonna. I'm guessing since this is the first like real proper village I've been in, I'm gonna get the chance to probably sell some of this stuff. I don't know if I have like a if I'll get like a home base at some point where I can. Um, you know, maybe manage my inventory a little bit better because, you know, some of this stuff, the ingredients, I don't know if I want to be lugging that around everywhere. So, um, do the NPCs have their own, like, schedule or are they just all kind of on a script? I think they're all probably just, I guess, on a script. It looks like they're just gonna sit there. Oh, crap. I'm wasting <laughs> oh they have a little bit of banter, though. Alright, let's see what I've got going on here. Alright, so I still have this quest about um, another mysterious witcher, and this is the big, like, overarching quest, I guess. Um, earning the villagers' trust. Oh, okay, let's see. I was lucky enough to track down a man who wears a salamander-shaped brooch in a settlement outside Vizima. The locals may know something about the organization. I must win their trust to learn where I can find the members of Salamandra. I should talk to the most prominent people in the community, and I've already got uh, a few clues, but of course I want to talk to everyone. I should talk to the most prominent... Re okay, I guess it just repeats what to say there. Alright, the Salamander's Tale. As the leader of the local community, the Reverend may know something about the man with the Salamandra brooch. I should see him as soon as possible. So these kind of go hand in hand here. And of monsters and men. When the beast attacked, the boy was terrified. He went into a magical trance and uttered a prophecy. It seems the outskirts have mysteries of their own. To fathom them, I apparently I should see the Reverend. So basically, to get anywhere, I've got to see this Reverend fellow. Oh boy. Alright, let's see what else. Uh, Alvin, here we go. 
A boy named Alvin managed to escape the Barghest attack, which cost his foster mother her life. As a oh man, that that was a bummer. As a result of the shock, he started to divine the future. Oh, okay, that's what was going on, and uttered the prophecy of Ithlene. I sup and they said that was like an elvish prophecy or whatever, right? I suppose Alvin is a source. He has magical powers he cannot control. Ooh, it'll be interesting to see where that's gonna go. All right, Shani, the girl I just met. Soon after I arrived in the outskirts, I met Shani, an acquaintance from a long time ago. In quite dramatic circumstances, Shani is completely devoted to medicine, her passion, and she had plenty to do in the outskirts, so there was no time for small talk. I got the impression that this sensible, intelligent girl likes me a lot. I feel like I get, uh, I personally get the impression every beautiful girl I run into is going to have the hots for Geralt. <laughs> Which, uh, I'm not sure, not sure why all the ladies have the hots for Geralt. I mean, I totally dig the long hair too, believe me. But, I don't know, he's got the personality of like one of the animatronics from Chuck E. Cheese. But, I don't know, maybe the personality comes later. Alright, yeah, see, I have a feeling that Triss likes me a lot. See, that here's here's a theme. Alright, so, oh, she's she's got like a different outfit. Alright, after Leo's funeral, the sorceress teleported to Vizima. She decided to use her extensive contacts and search for information on Salamandra. Triss promised to find me as soon as I arrive in Vizima. Alright, so I guess I'll probably be seeing her after I'm done dealing with this place. Alright, Tamiria. Tamiria's population is not exclusively human. It also includes dwarves, elves, gnomes, and dryads. Oh my gosh, there's I wasn't expecting a game with so much um so many fantasy elements, so I don't know how common these dwarves, elves, gnomes, and dryads are, but I can't wait to see them. After the devastating war with Nilfgaard, many areas are haunted by monsters, which have hitherto, uh, hitherto not con constituted a serious threat, while the realm's roads are made unsafe by outlaws and common bandits. As a result, the witcher profession is once again in demand. Though people continue to treat witchers with caution and disdain, often calling them mutants and freaks. So it's like, do you want our help or not, people? The kingdom of Temeria has silver lilies on a black background for its emblem. This powerful country has gained ever more influence in recent years under the wise rule of King Foltest. Across the Pontar River, the kingdom borders Redania. To the south and east, it is hemmed, uh, hemmed in by mountain ranges, including Mahakam, the mainstay of dwarves and gnomes, past which lie in the lands of Lyria and Adrian. The capital of Temeria is Vizima, lying on the shore of Lake Vizima. Alright, easy enough to understand. The second largest city is Mer uh, Maribor. Temeria mints its own coin, the Oren. The most widespread, uh, widespread religions are the cult of, uh, let's see, Milit M Militil? I'm not sure and the belief in the eternal fire. Temeria is home to the headquarters and many commanderies of the Order of the Flaming Rose. Boy, that's that's a lot of information there. I'm guessing it'll make more sense to me as I play through the game. Alright, and the outskirts. Like any large city, Vizima also has its outskirts. Near the city walls stand the houses of townspeople who could not afford to live in the city or could not stand the stench of its gutters. A little further out among fields and meadows, peasants have their thatched roof homes. Unfortunately, the hard times have left their mark on the outskirts. Many houses are vacant, their owners killed in the war, slain by monsters, or taken by the plague which ravages the area. 
So I guess living in the outskirts can be pretty, um, pretty dangerous. It's um, probably better to live in one of those cities with a lot of walls, right? Not so many monsters. Alright, uh, Galassery Catriona, um, or Catriona, a disease which quickly spread through all the northern countries after the war with Nilfgaard. Those who suffer from Catriona die a terrible death. Their convulsions become stronger each day. They vomit blood and mucus, and they have bloody diarrhea. After a fortnight or so, they die in agony. Ooh, sounds like, like... Ebola or something. Not a not a good one. Hopefully it's not too contagious. I don't want to catch that one. Alright, dwarves. Dwarves are shorter than humans, but uh, tougher and more muscular. Male dwarves wear long beards. Oh boy, so just every dwarf trope so far. They are usually gruff, but can be merry, and are renowned for their stubbornness. Oh boy. Considered excellent craftsmen, oh boy, and warriors, many have earned grudging acceptance in human society. Still, it is not uncommon for young dwarves to join the Scotia Tail, oh gosh, I'm not even going to try to say that properly, rebels to fight for more rights for non-humans and to end persecution. Hmm. So it sounds like there might be some like social injustices and you know I think like maybe different areas are going to have different cultures and ways of viewing non-human uh, p uh, peoples or whatever. I'm really interested in seeing how just how, what the people of the world of The Witcher is going to be like. This is a cool game so far. Alright, and finally this thing, Itlin's Prophecy, an old elven prophecy about the end of the world. The wolf's blizzard approaches, the time of the sword and axe, the time of the white frost and white light, the time of madness and disdain, Ted dear region, the final age, the world will perish amidst ice and be reborn with the new sun. Reborn of the elder blood of Hin Iker, or whatever, of a planted seed, a seed that will not sprout but burst into flame. So that's exactly what little Alvin said, no different. Alright, no real insight there. Alright guys, well I think I'm done catching up in my journal there, and here's the little area map. Looks like I've got quite quite a bit to explore in this little outskirt area. So I'll take a look around here and meet with the Reverend next time. Thank you guys so much for watching me play The Witcher today. I finished up the very beginning chapter, I guess like the prologue, and made it to the actual first chapter one. So I guess the real adventure begins now. Thank you guys again for watching and bye for now.